Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here and it also really helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be going over today is how to find the area and perimeter of a semicircle. Now, a semicircle is just a fancy way of saying a half circle. So basically a semicircle will be a whole circle that has been pretty much cut in half. So <clears throat> we're going to be looking to find the area and perimeter of this. So just like with a circle, a semicircle can be defined by a diameter or a radius. The diameter is a measure completely across the circle where the radius is half this distance or from the center to the edge. Now for a semicircle, there's really only one place that you can actually show the diameter, which is right here, because a semicircle is going to be the part of the circle that is curved and then a flat straight across portion from end to end. That flat portion will be the diameter. So the three centimeters right here is our diameter. And if this were to be the center of the circle, it's right along the center of this diameter line. So what that means is that this is half the diameter over here to here, and then from this edge to this edge. And that also means that no matter where we go from this point to the curved part, it will all be equal to our radius r, which is half our diameter. So the radius will always be our diameter divided by two. <clears throat> so for the area of our semicircle, we have to use the area of a regular circle and then divide it by two because, well, we're cutting it in half. So my area will be pi times r times r, and then we have to divide it by two because this first portion right here is the area for a full circle, and then we are cutting it in half for a semicircle, so that's why we're dividing by two. Or you may see it written like this, pi r squared over two. Now, for those of you that do not know, the symbol pi right here is going to be equal to a long, a long number with a repeating decimal, but a lot of times it's abbreviated as 3.14. And this is just the ratio of any circle or the ratio of any circumference of a circle to that diameter of that circle, which circumference is just a fancy way of saying the perimeter around. So it's relating the overall perimeter all the way around the circle to its overall diameter. So we have to determine what our radius is. Well, we're given the distance all the way across here, which will be three centimeters. So the radius will be half of that. So we would have three centimeters divided by two, which gives me 1.5 centimeters for my radius. Alrighty, so let's plug that into our area equation here. So the area is going to be my 3.14 for my pi times 1.5 centimeters times 1.5 centimeters. And then all of that will be divided by two. And this gives me an area of 3.5 five, three centimeters squared once you round off that decimal. Keep in mind, area will always have the units being squared. Whenever you see a unit being squared as an answer, that is letting you know you're dealing with an area measurement. Now, switching over to perimeter. So our perimeter will just be the fancy way of saying how far or how long does it take us to get all the way around this and then back to our starting point. Well, for a semicircle, the perimeter is going to include two portions. It's going to include the curved portion and then our flat straight portion. Well, we have to determine what is the measurement of the curved portion, portion all the way around. And that's when we're going to use the circumference calculation for a complete circle. And then once again, whoosh, cutting that in half and dividing by two, like what we did with the area. So the perimeter for a full circle will just be our equation of two. Oh, let me rewrite that real quick. It'll be two times pi times r. Well, since we are dealing with half a circle, we are gonna divide that by two again. Well, the twos over here will cancel with one another. So the perimeter of the curved portion, portion, so I'm just gonna write curved portion here or our arcing portion, whatever you want to call it, is just simply going to be pi times r. 
Well, this really only takes care of the curved portion. As I said, we still have to add in the flat portion here because we're going from here all the way over here is pi times r. And then we have to add in this additional diameter of three centimeters to get all the way back. So the total perimeter will be equal to pi times r. And then you're going to add in your diameter. Well, putting this in, we have 3.14 times my radius, which is 1.5 centimeters. Yeah. And then we have to add in our diameter of three centimeters. And this gives us a total distance for our perimeter of 7.71 centimeters. Rounding off, of course, there at the end because we rounded off pi. And sometimes your calculators will have pi as a button on the calculator. So it's best just to use the pi instead of using the rounding off. But this will give you close enough distance for this calculation showing you how to do this. Um, just keep in mind that perimeter is a distance measurement. So you will not have to square the units. Just leave them as they are. And so there's my answer for my area. And there's my answer for my perimeter for a semicircle. And that shows you how to calculate, calculate each. Just keep in mind that whenever you see semicircle, that means it's a half circle. So I hope this video is helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved this Friday, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all of that really does help us. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.